wanting to get the approval of your older brother or your father or mother, someone in your life. I mean, almost everybody has someone in their life whose approval they strive for and hopefully achieve, but maybe don't. In Jimmy's case, I think he, he's getting hurt over and over and he's getting disappointed over and over. And sometimes people learn, I would say, learn the wrong lessons from life. You know what I mean? You wanna try to learn the right lessons. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be discussing the character Jimmy McGill and how he will eventually evolve into Saul Goodman during Season 4 of Better Call Saul. With that being said, warning of spoilers for everything in the show and let's jump right into this. So as of the Season 3 finale, we have definitely seen glimpses of Saul but not the full thing. After finishing up Season 3, it almost seems like although Jimmy is still trying to care for everyone around him, Saul Goodman is creeping out through the cracks of Jimmy's broken heart. Over and over, Jimmy has been beaten down and disappointed to the point where he's starting to snap. We first really saw this during the end of episode 307 when Jimmy goes to the malpractice insurance office. He spontaneously throws Chuck under the bus due to frustration against Chuck for causing him to be in the horrible situation that he was in. We see glimpses of Saul once again during his entire scheme to get Irene to change her mind and take the settlement offer. So although Jimmy is perfectly capable of making these Saul-like decisions, there's still that humanity inside of him that we've come to love from the Jimmy McGill character oh so much, and I believe that that's what we'll see come crashing down during season 4. Saul Goodman feels like a uh, free radical. He's out there doing damage, he's a mercenary, he's taking what he wants for himself. His math is very simple, does it benefit me? And uh, how can I use whoever I'm talking to to benefit myself? Jimmy is not there yet. I mean, he still cares about Kim, played by Ray Seahorn. He actually still cares about his brother at this point. And the depressing thing about gaining Saul Goodman as a character is that we lose Jimmy McGill simultaneously. I've heard Bob Odenkirk discuss this topic multiple times, but he describes the situation perfectly. The entire show we've been so happy and excited to see the arrival of Saul, but now that it's actually coming to fruition, it's become tragic and almost heartbreaking as we're all so hesitant to see Jimmy go. Saul Goodman is a very selfish person with a very selfish mindset. His life path has convinced him that he is the only person that he needs to worry about as he has cut all connections from people that he ever loved or cared about. About. Saul Goodman is quite a depressing transformation when you think about it, so what exactly helps cause Jimmy to fully evolve into Saul? Well, in a recent interview that Bob Odenkirk did with Gold Derby, we get a pretty clear outline and explanation. I mean, he still cares about um, Kim. He actually still cares about his brother at this point and still has this the tiniest thread of hope that somehow there can be some uh, mutual uh, understanding they can reach. When that shit's gone, when he has cut himself off from every other person he loves and no longer desires to be a part of, of a relationship, really, that's when he'll be Saul. I mean, Saul is uh, really on his own, I think. Once Jimmy has cut himself off from everyone that he's cared for or loved in his life, or any desire to have a working relationship, then he'll have nothing holding himself back from fully unleashing his abilities as Saul Goodman. As of the end of Season 3, Jimmy still has people that he cares about in his life. After everything he's been through with his brother, he's still hoping that there's something between them that can be redeemed. The two major people Jimmy cares about are Kim and Chuck, which both have their constant complications. Season 3 majorly revolved around Chuck's vendetta against Jimmy, eventually leading to the end of their brotherly bond once and for all. Now that Chuck's story has been mostly told, aside from probably a few flashbacks, Season 4 will most likely focus on Kim, along with the final breaking point between her and Jimmy. Now my next video focusing on Season 4 will go more into the relationship between Jimmy and Kim, along with how it might end, as I'd like to dedicate an entire video around that subject along with just Kim predictions in general. And as far as the interview goes, Bob Onekirk also made an excellent point on the way people learn life lessons and that Jimmy isn't doing it correctly. He describes Jimmy as almost being mentally abused as he kept getting hurt over and over. As Jimmy is in this vicious cycle of wanting approval, getting his hopes up, and just getting let down again, it's really taken a toll on his mental health and patience. You know, there's numerous lessons you can take from any bad experience. In this case, I think this guy does a common 
thing for human beings to do, which is he learns the wrong lessons, which are don't ever care about anyone else and don't ever trust anyone and never think of anyone else is kind of what he carries over into becoming Saul. Although Jimmy seems to just be learning things the hard way, it's entirely possible for him to learn the wrong lessons. After his experiences with Chuck, there are many lessons that he could take away from it. One positive lesson would be to maybe not dedicate your life to gaining the approval of others, while another lesson would be to reevaluate how exactly you choose whether people are even worth attempting to gain the approval of. There are many more examples I could discuss. In fact, I could probably sit here all day and analyze the toxicity within the brotherly bond between Chuck and Jimmy throughout their entire lives, but I think you probably get the point by now. Jimmy didn't actually learn any positive life lessons from his experience and he instead slowly taught himself to close himself off from personally connecting with other people. And with his last blood relative taking his own life after what he said to Jimmy during their final conversation, it will definitely traumatize him and affect his trust and overall ability to love. Then, once he inevitably loses Kim for whatever reasons in Season 4, it will completely shut down the personal, loving, and caring side of him. He'll have no one left in his life from his past to care for, and he won't be letting anyone new in his life either. What do you guys think about the key factors that are slowly transforming Jimmy into Saul? Do you agree with what I've explained in this video? If there are any other key points that I've failed to mention, definitely let me know in the comments below, along with your own predictions and theories for what more we should expect during season 4. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today or even subscribe for more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad content in the near future. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my content as I've just now got it officially set up and running and I'm grateful for anyone who decides to head on over there but it's not necessary by any means. Anyways, I thank you all so much for watching and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. You see, as far as I'm concerned, you see Saul in the third season. He just doesn't have the clothing yet. But outside of the clothing in the office, there's no, there, the journey is nearly complete. There's still more story to tell once he gets to that point, but it's nearly complete. As long as he's still connected to Kim, he's not going to be Saul completely. And, uh, but he's getting there and now quickly.